So in the previous video, we introduced sigma notation. So we should now be understanding what this means, what this represents. Okay? So this is telling me to substitute in the whole numbers from r is 1 up to 4 into that and then add all the results together. Okay? So we would have 5 times 1 plus 3 plus 5 times 2 plus 3 plus 5 times 3 plus 3 plus 5 times 4 plus 3. So we would have 8 plus 13 plus 18 plus 23. Okay, so 8 plus 13 plus 18 plus 23 gets me 62. Okay, so that is how I can evaluate um, a sum given to me as sigma notation. What if I had it the other way around? What if I was actually asked um, to write a sequence or a sum rather in sigma notation? Okay, how about if we went the other way? So let's say I had a sequence given by three. Um, let's have 13, 23, 33, etc. Okay? Oh, I want it as a sum, rather. So let's, let's go up to uh, 43. Okay? So here is my sum, and I want to write that in sigma notation. So the first thing that I would do is I would figure out what sort of sequence this is and I can see that it's going up in ten, it tens each time and so it is an arithmetic sequence okay and because we are adding them up we call this an arithmetic series okay so when you're adding uh, entries together in a sequence um, we refer to it as a series so in doing that, I can evaluate A, which I know is 3, and the common difference is 10. Okay? So I can then find an nth term using the formula in the formula booklet, given by un is a plus n minus 1d. So un is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. So then I can expand that out. I'm going to have 10n, and I've got 3 take away 10, so minus 7. So that's my nth term. And it is this that goes into the sigma notation. So I'm going to have 10r minus 7 where r is going from, well, in order to get 3, r would have had to have been 1. 10 take away 7 is 3. And I'm going from the first, second, third, fourth, fifth term. Okay? So this sigma notation represents this arithmetic series. So this bit here that is in front of the sigma always represents the nth term of the uh, series, or of the sequence rather. Okay? So it is always the nth term. So really I should probably use ur here rather than un. Okay? So they are always the nth term. And so if you are given a series that you need to put into sigma notation, find the nth term, that's what goes to the right of the sigma, and then you just need to figure out what is the first value of r that you're working with, and then what is the last.